All right, everybody. Uh, so I want to show you guys a, a tip real quick. So can I gather your attention just for a few minutes? Uh, this doesn't necessarily apply to our class, but since I finally got us a license and I finally got our IT department, however elusively they are um, operating on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, to install it, now um, we have access to this pretty cool tool. So Bluebeam is kind of uh, I think it started for the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. So it's got a lot of really cool tools that we can use to like mark up our drawings, measure off of it, scale things, copy and paste things. Um, it's a it's an extremely diverse software package. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys as a critical tool is how to measure elements that might not have a dimension, but you have other dimensions like. In, you know, in the drawing. So it, remember, it does need to be a drawing to scale. Um, but even if you don't know the scale, as long as there is a dimension on there, you can figure out the scale uh, or the size of other elements. Now, this is a pretty well dimensioned. Um, uh, yeah, it's a pretty well dimensioned um, plan. But there are a few things that aren't dimensioned very well on here. Most notably, if you look at this bathroom, we know that the overall wall is 12 feet, but we don't know where this wall sits within that. Right? They missed that dimension because they pulled it to 12 feet and then just left it at that. Um, so what you do is you calibrate it. I, I actually had to turn this toolbar on. This isn't like a you know. Oh, we're missing. You can't really see the right hand side. So let me. The projector's clipping it a little bit. Mm, right there. Yeah, OK. Um, so, so anyway, there are these toolbars over here. This is under the measurements toolbar. Um, I did kind of add it up top. I don't really need that up there. But anyway, we've got um, a couple of things at our disposal here. We need to first calibrate the size or scale. And then we can measure anything we want. So when I click on calibrate, uh, it says select two points, hit OK. You're going to go from a known dimension. And I like to choose, um, let me go back, actually. I like to choose kind of the longest known dimension, as long as it's like a, a reasonable number. So in this case, we have um, right here, let's go with the 24 feet, 1 inch. It's kind of probably the best one I've got. So I'm going to calibrate to that. OK. And I'm going to click on this point. And I'm going to carry it over to that point. So I'm going to say that that is 24 feet, 1 inch. Now, anywhere I go to measure, it's going to give me the distance from an element to an, one element to another element. So that's a six foot wall. I can measure this one, five foot seven. And I can do that anywhere I need to across the sheet. So um, anyway, it's an incredibly powerful tool. Whenever you're working with existing drawings, which you will, I think, in some of your design classes, and you definitely will when you get to your Revit class if you haven't done so already. So anyway, that's like rule number one on Bluebeam. Um, but I do, I do just want to also mention Bluebeam as a software is, is so diverse, you could even use it for your studies. So you can literally just kind of write in it. So if you have any of your textbooks in ebook format, um, you can load them in here and you can start bookmarking different chapters. You can drop markups. I don't, this is a new kind of tool chest. Yeah, like you can drop markups on things and say like, all right, I got to make a note about that. And I'll make a note about this and say, um, oh, that's not right. I would leave that at one. Um, where is the comments? The user interface is different. Where are the comments? Anyway, um, well, I'll find out where it is because um, this is a newer version than what I have in the office. But anyway, you can like add notes about it and then flip through all of your markups and just kind of like jump back and forth from page to page to all the things that you marked that you need to go back and review. I used it when I was studying for my architect's registration exam, and it was awesome. Like I just, I would draw like a box. If there was ever like text on a screen and I needed to, to revisit it, I would just um, draw a rectangle around it. And then I would comment on it and say like, review this um, with something else. And then I would be able to see that in a list and you can export it to Excel. You can, 
you know, kind of just like write notes, like literally just with a pen. If you have it on your iPad, you can just write with a pen inside the screen. So it's, it's really powerful. Anyway, so there you go. That's how you measure uh, scale drawings in Bluebeam and miscellaneous other things. Any questions? Probably not, but remember it. <laughs>